Ladies and gentlemen, it's movie review time. And then we have, yes, the annoying light. Let's see if I can kind of, kind of a little bit there. All right. So today I'm going to be reviewing uh, a movie called Love Me. I know what you're saying. What? I never heard of that movie. Probably not, because it's kind of an indie movie. Um, so I want to try reviewing different movies on the channel. And this is definitely a different movie. Um, I want to say this is something in Germany. I think this is what this is. I could be wrong. If I am, I apologize. But it's in, in another language. It's all subtitles. Um, and it is not bad, but it drags really bad. But it's kind of intriguing. It's kind of like, honestly, it's kind of like watching YouTube. Because the, the camera work is the camera work is pretty good. It's not too bad. Um, it, it's well cut and well edited, I, th I think, um, in terms of movie making. Um, the characters, it is not very strong, in my opinion. Um, I think that the main character, um, you know, she, she did a lot of things that I think were really good in the movie. I think that she acted really well doing what she was trying to do, but in some aspects, you know, just, I, I think she wasn't given a lot to work with, like in terms of, you know, how was she supposed to act, you know, or what is she supposed to do? And, um, it's basically this, this, this movie, and I've read a lot of the summary that people were talking about what the movie is about, because it's really hard to follow. When you're watching the movie, normally when you're watching a movie on Netflix, you go, okay, that looks interesting, let's click on it, let's watch it. You don't sit there and listen to the plot summary, or you don't look at the summary, you don't look what it's about. Sometimes you do. You say, okay, alright, I mean, that's it. And I read the summary, and I thought, okay, that'd be pretty good. I'll watch it, we'll see what happens. Um, and the video thing shows, like, some adult situations happening. So I was like, okay, I'll check it out. This looks kind of cute, you know, whatever. So I was checking it out. I was watching it, and, um, well, it, it did have some of that in it, a little bit, but not very much. Um, but the movie wasn't too bad, but I would say that it's not one to sit down and watch with the family. It's, it's more of, um... Basically, I don't know. It, it's it's not for, I think, a multiple person sit down to watch this kind of thing. It's kind of like if you like these kind of movies, watch them by yourself. Because I don't see this as being a great movie. Not even a good movie. It's a decent movie. That's about it. It's not that good of a movie at all. It's It basically shows a, a girl going through these troubles, trying to figure out what she wants to do with her life. And she's struggling. She's trying to figure out what she wants to do. She's trying to figure out what guy she wants to be with, and, uh, even at the end of the movie, did she get back with that guy? I think she did get back with that guy, I don't, I don't remember, anyway, sorry, spoilers, spoilers, I guess I should say that, but I don't remember if she got back with the guy or not, but there was multiple guys that she was with in the movie, I think she was with, like, two or three different people, and she was trying to figure out, basically, what to do with her life, she didn't understand, she, you know, the first guy, she made really angry, and, because of just being annoying, basically, and I think that she just didn't understand what she wanted to do. And she ended up moving back with her family and all this other stuff in the movie. And um, she goes through those struggles as well, trying to have them understand what she wants. So I don't, I don't want to tell you the whole entire movie. But like I said, if you watch the movie, it's a little bit different. She has a great, I think the, the character, the, the person that played the main character, she has a great personality. I think she could do other movies. And, I, and I've seen, she did some other movies, I think on... Uh, IMDb, which is a great website, by the way, if you want to look, learn about movies and what other people have done, um, IMDb is a great thing, owned by Amazon, if you didn't know, anyways, um, but, yeah, pretty good, it's an okay movie, nothing major, but the movie is called Love Me, um, it probably says, like, I think it's like L-I-C-H, it looks like Lick Me, but that's not Lick Me, that's not what the movie title is, it's called Love Me, anyway, that's basically what, in a gist, what I recommend anybody watch it. Like I said, if you love indie movies, if you love movies like this, if you love movies with subtitles that aren't horror movies or something like comedy or something like that, this doesn't have much comedy. It's more of a drama. It's, yeah, there is a little bit of comedy, like minuscule comedy because of some of the stuff, but some of the stuff is just like goofy comedy. Like, <laughs> like if your boyfriend puts a dumb hat on, that kind of comedy. Yeah, anyways, 
that kind of comment. Like, you kind of just go, <laughs> that's it. Move on. There's a couple moments. That's about it. Um, so it's mainly a drama. So I watched it. I can't get that time back. <laughs> so I guess I'll make a review about it. Um, but yeah, that's what it was. And that's what you got. So if you want to check out some movie like that, there you go. It was enjoyable. Like I said, the girl was kind of cute uh, in there. And I checked it out. I thought it would be a decent uh, movie. Wasn't so much. My hair's getting long. I think it's time to cut it again. That's what I think. Don't think I can talk about this movie. And there wasn't any major stars, of course, in the indie film. Um, but, like, this girl is doing other things. So, I, I don't know if it was really an indie film. It kind of was. I guess it's a foreign film, I guess I should say. Um, not a indie film. But they call it indie and, like, all the things I was reviewing. Because I, I looked on there before I got on here to do it, so I kind of revamped myself of what it was about, um, but yeah, an okay movie, it's an interesting movie, um, somebody, like I said, the characters, I just don't think the, the script wasn't written that well, because, I mean, hell, I, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna crap on script writers, but I'm just saying that sometimes in movies, they can't write, like, the talking scenes very well, and you would think that'd be the easiest scenes to do and talk about, but, like, they couldn't write quiet, a quiet character talking with parents. Like, the dynamic, the, 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 the dynamic, that's the word I was trying to say. I don't know why I was having trouble with that. But anyway, yeah, it just wasn't there. So, some of this off on this movie. So, it was an okay movie. I've seen better documentaries, or uh, not documentaries. Foreign films aren't, aren't this bad. Um, this one... Probably one of the worst ones I've seen so far. Uh, <laughs> and I've seen some. I just have. I don't think I reviewed that one. I need to review that one. Um, but anyway, um, this one's not. It's just decent. That's it. It's okay to watch, but at times you're just like, oh, okay. But anyways, um, yeah, that's it. Love me, an okay French slash German. Don't know. I want to say German. But anyway, just because of references in there. Um, but yeah, foot film. Okay, not too bad. Found it on Netflix, seen on Netflix. Check it out. It's probably still on there. It'll probably stay on there for a while. Um, these kind of movies tend to stay on there forever. Yeah, anyway. Like, share, comment down below about the movie if you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, maybe go check out it on Netflix. Come back here and tell me what you think of it down below in the comment section subscribe if you're already subscribed if you enjoyed these type of videos and as always keep rocking and keep on watching movies